Roy, now to an urgent health alert affecting many families. Certain children's medications to treat colds, flu, and RSV are becoming harder to find. And doctors are blaming this year's cold and flu season for the shortage, calling it one of the worst they've seen in years. News 6's Ezzie Castro has more on how it's impacting some local pharmacies. Several parents say that they are having trouble finding over-the-counter meds and even prescription medications. That's all because doctors say they are seeing a major increase in respiratory illnesses in kids, and they warn it could get worse. Orlando pediatrician and the owner of Nona Pediatric Center, Dr. Salma El Thaki, explains there has been a growing shortage when it comes to getting meds for younger children. She says a busy cold and flu season has led to bare shelves at some pharmacies. It slowly started to show up in um, online forums where doctors were discussing that, hey, can anybody find amoxicillin, things like that. Um, and then it started happening with over-the-counter medication and then other prescriptions as well. According to the CDC, for the flu so far, about 8.7 million people have been ill, 78,000 hospitalized, and 4,500 have died from flu, including 14 children. Hospitalizations for flu continue to be the highest we have seen at this time of year in a decade. Experts are now asking parents not to hoard any medications since they expect the shortage to extend into the new year. It's uh, the pharmacies letting us know that medications are on back order and they don't know when they will be getting them in. So Johnson & Johnson released a statement saying that they are running their production sites 24 hours a day to keep up with the high demand. In Winter Park, Ezzy Castro, going to results, New 6.